Good day students, welcome to math.serve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over how to name angle pair relationships. So the problems we're going to be considering are going to be in multiple choice formats. We will be provided with a pair of angles and some options um, that we should select one that describes the relationship that exists between the given angles. Okay, now for question number one, we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal. Now, if you notice where B is, B is in the interior of the first transversal and A is in the exterior. They are on the right side of the transversal, okay? So we have one on the interior and one on the exterior of the same side of the transversal. These two angles, angle A and angle B, are known as corresponding angles, okay? So angle a and angle B are corresponding angles. Basically, they occupy um, the same angular position at the point of intersection between the transversal and the two parallel lines at this point and at this point. Okay, so let me show you another pair of transverse of corresponding angles. So let's look at to the left side of the transversal underneath the parallel line. So these two are corresponding angles because they're in exactly the same position at the points of intersection. Okay, so you have four pairs of corresponding angles. This is just one of them. That's another one. Um, this is another pair of corresponding angles right here. And lastly, you have another pair of corresponding angles right here. Okay, so the answer to question number one is option letter C. All right, now let's take a look at uh, number two. In this example, uh, this problem, we have two parallel lines cut by a transversal again. Okay, so remember that this region right here between the parallel lines is the interior. Okay, that's interior, this region right here. And then the region to the right of this parallel line and to the left of the other parallel line outside the interior, that's the um, exterior, okay? In this um, scenario that we're looking at right here, the angles A and B are in the exterior um, regions of our parallel lines, okay? But they are not on the same side. Okay, they are on different sides. So whenever you have a scenario like this, two exterior angles on different sides, they are known as alternate exterior angles. So angle A and angle B are alternate exterior angles. Okay, the word alternate basically means that they're in different sides of the transversal. This right here is a transversal. So they are on different sides of the transversal, so that's why they're considered alternate interior, exterior angles. Okay, so let me say you have this angle uh, right here, and this angle right here, guess what? These are alternate exterior angles. Also, different sides of the transversal and on the exterior of the two parallel lines cut by that transversal. Answer to number two is Option letter B. All right, let's take a look at number three. Angle A and B reside in the interior of these two parallel lines. Okay, they are in the interior. Now, um, what's their classification? If you notice, they are on different sides of the transversal. So anytime you're looking at transversal and the angles are positioned on different sides, you think about alternate, okay? So they are on alternating sides of the transversal and they are on the interior, so what are they going to be? These two angles, angle A and angle B, are alternate interior angles, okay? Alternate interior angles. So the correct answer is option letter D. Okay, unlike number two, A and B were on the outside, they were on the exterior, and on different sides of the transversal. That is why they would classify it as alternate exterior. But these two right here are on the interior, so 
they are classified alternate interior angles. Okay, let's take a look at uh, number four. So how would you describe these two angles, angle A and B? Are they a linear pair corresponding alternate exterior or adjacent? Well, if you look at the transversal that they are on, they are on the same side of the transversal, but one is on the, um, they're on the same side, but they're, one is in the interior and the other is in the exterior. So we don't, we're not looking at alternates exterior or interior because that's not applicable here. But if you take a look at the point of intersection, these two angles are located in the same relative location, okay? So whenever you have this situation, it's just like what we did in, I believe it's um, question number one. Whenever you have the angles occupying the same position at the intersection of the transversal and the parallel lines, they are known as what? Angle A and angle B are corresponding angles, okay? Corresponding angles, because they're located um, on the same position at the points of intersection of the transversal and the two parallel lines. Question two, I mean, answer to question number four is option letter B. Okay, let's take a look at number five. We have angles A and B here. And let's take a look at the options for a second. Alternate interior. When you see the word alternate and exterior or interior, you're looking at a situation where you have parallel lines and a transversal. Are there any parallel lines here? No, so we automatically eliminate option letter A. Adjacent, what does adjacent mean? It means that the angles are next to each other. Okay, A and B are adjacent angles, they're next to each other. Linear pair means that they form a straight line. Angle A and B are definitely much less than a straight line, they're some, okay? So it cannot be that. Angle D means that they're complementary. Now, had it been that this angle of measure here were 90 degrees, then we can conclude that A and B are a linear, are complementary, sorry. But this angle is not 90 degrees, it is bigger than 90 degrees. Hence, A and B has to be less than 90 degrees, and thus they are not complementary, okay? So the correct answer for option, uh, for question number five, is option letter B because these two angles are adjacent or next to each other. Okay, so angle A and angle B are adjacent angles. Answer is option letter B. All right, let's take a look at question six. Um, we have angle A and B. What's the relationship between these two? Alternate exterior is not applicable here. Why is that? Because we do not have parallel lines caused by a transversal, okay? Um, option B, they are complementary. Hmm. This angle right here is 90 degrees, okay? So what do we know about angles on a straight line? They add up to 90 degrees, right? So the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B plus 90 degrees gives us a linear pair, which is 180 degrees, okay? Now what happens when we subtract 90 degrees from both sides? That should give us the answer. The measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B is 90 degrees. When the sum of two angles is 90 degrees, that basically means that the angles are what? Angle A and angle B are complementary angles. Okay, they are complementary angles. Answer to question number six is option letter B. Okay, let's take a look at uh, number seven. We have angle A and angle B. They both form a straight line, okay? Uh, alternate interior, we don't have parallel lines caused by a transversal, delete that option. Complementary means they add up to what? 90 degrees. They add up to more than that. 
eliminate corresponding angles has to do with parallel lines cut by transversal. That's not applicable here. Linear pair means that they form a straight line. Okay, or they add up to, add up to 180 degrees, or they're supplementary, okay? And take a look at this. A and B, they form a straight line, okay? They add up to 180 degrees. So that tells us that angle A and angle B are what type of angles? They are a linear pair. Or you can uh, say that um, they are supplementary, it means the same thing. All right, let's take a look at uh, question number eight. Now, what's the relationship between angle A and B here? Um, angle A and angle B share a common point of intersection right here. They're right opposite each other. Whenever you have angles configured in this type of orientation, angle A and angle B are vertical angles, okay? They are vertical angles. So answer to option, I mean, to question number eight is option letter A. Now to finish up with the given relationships that we indicated in the eight problems concerning um, the two angles that are provided, we can write an equation for each situation. Okay, so let's start with number one. Number one, we have corresponding angles. Whenever you have parallel lines cut by a transversal, corresponding angles are congruent. So guess what? Your equation here is a measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle B. Okay, now let's take a look at number two. Um, we have alternate exterior angles here. Whenever you have parallel lines cut by a transversal, alternate exterior angles are congruent too. So the equation we can write for number two is that measure of angle A plus, uh, I'm sorry, measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle B. Take a look at number three. Number three, we have alternate interior angles. If you have parallel lines cut by a transversal, Alternate interior angles are just like alternate exterior angles, they are congruent. So the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle B for number three also. Number four, corresponding angles. What do we know concerning corresponding angles of parallel lines cut by a transversal? Well, guess what? They are congruent also. So measure of angle A is equal to measure of angle B for corresponding angles. All right, so number five right here is kind of like a general scenario. We have adjacent angles that are not complementary. In this particular setup, the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B is going to be less than 90 degrees because they're not complementary, okay? All right, number six, Oh, we already have an equation here. Um, the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B is equal to 90 degrees. This is basically what it means for two angles to be complementary. They add up to 90. And don't forget, uh, supplementary angles add up to 180 degrees. All right, let's take a look at number seven. Uh, number seven, they form a linear pair. So they are supplementary. What equation can we write? In this case, the measure of angle A plus the measure of angle B is equal to 180 degrees because they form a linear pair. And then the last one, problem number eight, vertical angles. What do we know about vertical angles? Vertical angles are always congruent. So the measure of angle A is equal to the measure of angle B, all right? So by naming the relationship between the angles, the pair of angles that were provided, you can automatically arrive at an equation or a conclusion uh, based on that given information. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. I really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your study of angles and their relationship, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. 
If you have any questions about what we just covered, um, just place your questions in the comment section below and we will be more than glad to support you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for updates to other great tutorials such as this. More clips can be found on mathcutsurf.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.